Before there was a Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Olympics was the only crossover event that went on to display people with superhuman abilities facing off against one another. And with years of training leading up to a single moment of greatness, you can imagine just how embarrassing it might be to throw it all away with a simple fail. What are the most embarrassing Olympic fails to ever feature at the Games, and what consequences did they have for the athletes that partook in them? Well, whether you're a sports fanatic or just can't wait to see the Tokyo Olympics launch in a few days' time, you've come to the right place place, as we're about to explore some of the most embarrassing Olympic fails ever. So strap yourselves in and get ready for a bumpy ride, as things are about to get exciting. But before we get into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with the notifications turned on so you don't miss on any of the new videos we post. Number 1. The Pulled Hamstring from Hell First up on our list is a pretty heartbreaking incident involving British runner Derek Redmond in the Barcelona Olympics of 1992. The sprinter was in an excellent form leading up to the event, actually going on to post his fastest time ever before hopping on an airplane and making his dreams a reality. And surprisingly, the man made massive waves by making it to the semi-finals of the men's 400-meter sprint. But unfortunately for Redmond, that's when something highly unfortunate ended up happening, causing fans across the globe to share a collective cry of despair. Remember, times were different back then. We understand that the English have caught quite a bit of flack this year for the performance of the fans at the Euro football finals and Lewis Hamilton in the British Grand Prix last weekend, but Britain was very much liked back then. And this appreciation of the colonizing country most certainly bled through to Redmond, who was considered to be a sure thing in the event. It looked like the experts were about to be proven right, with the sound of the starter gun seeing Redmond blast off like a bullet out of a gun. But halfway through the race, a gasp was heard across the stadium as Redmond went on to hold his hamstring and slow to a complete stop. In a moment of both embarrassment and wholesomeness, his father ran onto the track and put his arms around the superstar sprinter helping him to cross the finish line. The man was absolutely broken, grabbing onto his father and crying into his shoulder in both pain and frustration. When he finally crossed the line, this was met by a massive amount of applause from the audience. Let's be honest though, a win would have felt a lot better to Redmond. As it turned out, the sprinter was running so hard that he ended up tearing his hamstring completely. No wonder he couldn't continue. But you can imagine the thoughts that must have been running through Redmond's mind at the moment. If he had taken a day off for recovery, he would have most likely won gold in that event after all. It just shows you even the best fail sometimes. Number 2. The Best Face Plant of 2008 Another great fail from the history books of the Olympic Games comes from one of the best gymnasts in the world, who just so happens to be Nastya Liukin. For those of you who aren't really in the know as far as gymnastics are concerned, Anastasia Valerievna Liukiana, as she is formerly known, was actually born in Moscow, Russia back in 1989, but went on to make the move to the United States when she was just a little girl. And it's a good thing that she decided to make this move, as her interest and dedication in the sport of gymnastics found her breaking records from a very young age, causing the Americans to quickly grab her for the Beijing Olympic Games that were coming up. This resulted in her being crowned the all-around champion of the Games after an incredible performance allowed her to sweep the competition. But when it came to qualify for the London Olympic Games in 2012, an embarrassing moment of note caused Nastia's hopes to come crashing down. Since she had gotten off to a pretty rocky start that season, the brilliant gymnast had to secure herself a great performance on the uneven bars to have a chance at qualifying for the Games. And for a while it looked as if she was right on track. She pulled off some pretty intricate moves and kept her toes pointed at all times, causing the audience to claim that her days at the bottom were finally passed. But then, after trying to land a simple direction transition, Nastia overextended her leap, leaving her too far from the high bar. The audience watched in disbelief as her fingers grazed for the bar, leaving her parallel to the ground. What followed was an embarrassing face plant, followed by a little reflexive leg kick to show that she was physically okay. Her ego was hurt a lot more than her body, causing her to miss out on making a second American Olympic team who would be participating in London. Number 3. It Shouldn't Be Dangling Like That to get to the next embarrassing moment on our list, we have to rewind to the Rio Olympic Games of 2016, which saw some of the most gruesome accidents take place on the opening weekend, causing the clip to be shared more than any other Olympics blunder in history. To give some context to the video, it involved the vault event of the French gymnast Samir Ait Said, who was said by many an expert to be one of the vaulters to watch. In fact, he had received some of the best points in the history of his life leading up to the event, which many were saying that this could very well have been the year that he walked away with gold. Unfortunately, Unfortunately for Saeed, though, it looked as if he wouldn't be walking anywhere in a while. You see, after attempting to perform a move that was a bit out of his wheelhouse to secure first position on the roster, things went wrong. 
The Olympic athlete landed awkwardly after trying to finish up two backward flips, causing his leg to snap almost immediately, leaving it dangling just below the knee. According to the New York Times, a loud snap could be heard across the stadium, followed by a gasp of disbelief which echoed as everything went silent. Surprisingly enough, with all that adrenaline still rushing through his body, Saeed held it together, grabbing his leg to stop it from hitting the ground and waiting patiently for the emergency staff to arrive. He was taken off the platform with a stretcher, receiving a standing ovation from the crowd for the bravery he had shown that day. But once more, a win would have felt so much better. Worse yet, this clean break meant that he couldn't compete in the rest of the games, causing his dream to come crashing down. To think that all of this happened because of a slight variation in how hard he hit the vault is insane. It just shows you how these athletes need a perfect run to make it through just an Olympic event without incident. This horrifying moment was, however, followed by a wholesome one in the form of Saeed sending his fans a video message after the surgery on his leg. In this message, he thanked everyone for the support and said that he'll most certainly get gold next time. Number 4. The Olympic Incident of 1988 Fans of the Olympic Games will know that lighting of the torch is the tradition that goes back as far as ancient Greece, which is apparently where the entire idea of the Games originated from. But did you know that birds used to be released at the ceremony to symbolize peace and prosperity? We definitely won't hold it against you if you didn't, as a pretty unfortunate incident happened at the 1988 opening ceremony ensured that this would no longer be the case in games to follow. You see, it was at the Seoul Olympics of 1988 that hundreds of doves were released in a symbol of peace. And considering what was going on in the world at the time, it was a great symbol to concentrate on, especially with the event being heralded as the coming together of many conflicting cultures in a show of togetherness. The doves did, however, decide to perch on the Olympic torch, which went unnoticed by the staff that were in charge of organizing the event. So when the torch was eventually set on fire mechanically, a large number of doves went up in flames as a result, causing nothing but charred remains to be left to the shock of the audience. One dove even managed to walk away with smoke rising from its body, showing just how devastating the little incident was on the little guys. This incident has gone down as one of the most embarrassing events to ever take place in Seoul over the years, and has even resulted in the Olympics banning the use of birds in any opening ceremonies in the future. You shouldn't expect pigeons, swans, or doves to participate in the upcoming Tokyo Olympics, as the South Koreans made sure of that. Number 5. Like a kick to the face Last but not least, we have to go back once more to the 2008 Olympic Games in Beijing, which saw a Taekwondo match to be remembered between Angel Velodia Matos of Cuba and Armin Chilmanov of Kazakhstan. For those of you who don't know, Taekwondo is a fighting style which is very much centered on the principle of self-control. So when Matos went on to kick Swedish referee Shakir Shalbat right in the face out of frustration, the audience was absolutely shocked. It was a strange moment which saw the Olympians slowly walking up to the referee as quiet as a church mouse. But then all of a sudden, his foot was in the referee's face, causing him to stumble backwards and security to rush onto the platform. Because of this massive failure in control, Matos ended up being banned for life from Taekwondo, while his coach was also banned for further behavior that was considered to be in strong violation of the spirit of Taekwondo. Ouch. What did you think of these most embarrassing Olympic fails? Be sure to let us know in the comment section down below.